in my last video you have seen the problem on the design of an effect so these are some additional problems that you can try out set of all strings of a's and b's which start with a so here there is only restriction on starting so first state uh, on a you go to the next state and after that uh, you go to the final state and uh, have a self loop on a b next is a set of all strings of a's and b's which ends with a so you have a self loop uh, for the start state itself on both a and b and uh, one more uh, transition on a from start state to the final state next is set of all strings of a's and b's where the second symbol from the lhs that is first sim for first symbol whether it is a or b you change the state and for the second symbol from the left if it is a you go to the uh, next state which is the final state and for, for that final state you have a self loop so likewise you can uh, try the remaining construction of nfa problem now set of all strings of a and b which starts with a so here the machine will be looking like this as i told it starts with a so it is q0 because it has to start with a you have transition only on a if it was a dfa on b you were going to the trap state which is not required in case of nfa if it is start with a you just go to the final state here q1 after the first symbol if it is starting with a go to the state final state q1 and on a you be in the same final state on a and b now you can take this nfa and construct an equivalent dfa using the previous methods that is subtract subset construction method or lazy evaluation method and uh, you can check whether it accepts the same language next is all a's and b's which ends with a so in, for ending with a so put a self loop here instead of to the final state next is where the second symbol from the left is a so second symbol so until the second symbol you will not have any loops if you have a loop then you will be uh, not knowing whether it has gone through the loop or other path so for the first left symbol whether it is a or b that is fine change the state this is a first symbol from the left next the second symbol from the left is a so this is the second symbol it has to be a to go to the final state which is q2 after the left second symbol which is a it is not it is immaterial whatever i have in the string after the second left symbol is a so it is a self loop here this is a machine and you have to conclude by writing all the parameters of the machine phi q is equal to q is equal to q0 q1 q2 sigma is equal to ab transition function delta is as in the transition diagram then f is equal to q2 so likewise you have to write all five parameters whenever it is a construction problem either for nfa or dfa you have to conclude this is the left symbol from the second is a similarly now if it is the second symbol from the right is a so what is the change you should observe here so q0 suppose this is the state which changes from q0 to q1 suppose again q2 is the final state
here you should not have loop if you have loop here again you will not know whether it is uh, uh, taking this path or this path so if it is from the right you should have a loop for the start state if it is from the left you will have a loop for the uh, final state so now here this has to be a self loop on a as well as b and this is the first symbol from the right so this could be a or b and this will be the second right symbol and here it is mentioning that it has to be a so this is the required nfa next whose length is exactly 2 so only on uh, 2 short least at most okay we'll write one exactly two so q0 is a start state so two means you will have at least uh, two states q1 after the first symbol machine changes from q0 to q1 and after the second symbol machine changes from q1 to q2 has to be the final state if it is exactly two symbols and here it is not saying that whether it is a's count or b's count it could be a a a b b a b b all four so the first symbol could be either a or b here also second symbol could be either a or b so this is for exactly two at least two means you will have this and then you have a self loop here at most two means so it could this is a final state for at most we will write so this is for at least then at most at most means empty string is accepted so q0 itself is a final state because it accepts the empty string whenever empty string is accepted start state itself will be the final state or it could be a string of length one so whenever it is string of length one you change the state as before to q1 and uh, this also should be a final state and this first symbol could be either a or b then the second symbol again be a or b so this is again a final state and you have to observe that here there are no self loop so either one alpha empty string or a or b or a a a b b a b b only these are the five strings which are accepted by the machine c next is finite automata with epsilon transitions epsilon is nothing but null transition so we can allow explicit epsilon transition in finite automata that is a transition from one state to another state without consuming any additional input symbol so previously we can see that for nfa or dfa so after taking the input either a or b only your machine was changing so now you can allow the machine to change without consuming the input symbol so the explicit epsilon transitions between different state introduces non determinism and makes it easier sometimes to construct nfas so the definition epsilon nfas are those in fa with at least one explicit epsilon transition defined so for nfas if you add at least one epsilon transition then it becomes epsilon nfa transition machine so epsilon nfas have 
one more column in the transition table which is on epsilon. So the definition of epsilon in FA, so again it has Q sigma Q0 F delta, so only the <coughs> delta varies for all. So here the delta is a mapping from Q cross sigma union epsilon which means that for every state either on input alphabet or on epsilon the machine changes to various other state which is a set of state as in NFA. Now we will see the problems design epsilon NFA for the following languages accepting decimal integers L is equal to 0 star 0 1 star 0 plus 1 whole star or accepting any number of A's followed by any number of P's followed by any number of C's and convert this to an NFA and then to DFA. Likewise, these questions will arise. So, first one accepting decimal integers. So, decimal integers are nothing but so you can have multiple paths one will be with sign without sign all those things you can consider so for each one you can write so if it is a signed integer in decimal integers so it could be plus or minus and change the state to q1 if it is without sign you can write another path q1 and after that you can have any digits from 0 to and change the state to Q2. And for Q2, you can write the self loop on 0 to 9. So here plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus single digit, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and uh, plus 0, 0, plus 0, 9. All these are accepted. Or you can have that is, it can just change the state Q2, Q3, and Q2 is a final state. If you don't want the sign, you can just start with epsilon. You can move here and zero to So only blank should not be accepted. So at least one digit number must be there. So I can have like this. So here Q4 is a final state. So here only one digit or any number of digits followed by any other digits. So all these are accepted. So for each of this you can write multiple paths and connect by epsilon. So we will stop here and see the construction in the next video. Thank you.